Yo, 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 everybody. The uh, game will pop up in a second. There we go. How's everybody doing? And for anybody that's unfamiliar, Fishman and JC are joking. They're they're regulars on the uh, on the channel. <laughs> However, I do gotta say, JC and Fishman, I know you guys are joking, but though that didn't look like joking. You need you need to disguise it a little bit better. You know, make it make it look more like a joke if it's a joke. You know. <laughs> Oh, because you just need to make it a little more like joke-esque fish man, you know? So that people actually like, you know, know that it's a joke. Because what's the point of a joke if you don't know that it's a joke? What's up, Brian? What's up, Ian? Patron? We got Zeppington, Miles, Ace the Builder, we got Fishman Kai, Amanda, Deer Slayer, Coda, Stephanie. We got Keegan, we got Ken, we got Mason, we got Wynn, we got Steelers, Jackson, Braden. How's everybody doing? Sorry if I missed uh, anybody. I probably missed quite a few because there's a lot of you in chat right now. But I hope you're all doing great. Let's see if we can start the day off right with a trophy moose. I mean, this guy's far from a trophy moose, but hey, you gotta start somewhere, you know. A moose that is a uh, subpar is sometimes just what you need if he'd give us a shot come on turn do I play hunter classic I used to um, I haven't played it recently though in fact uh, I need to update my description on twitch because I haven't touched that in like three and a half years and I it's definitely not accurate as to what I do now because if I'm not mistaken I think it says that I do classic content but I really don't anymore I need to remember to do that at some point. How's it going though, everybody? We're currently at 101 kills on this grind right here. This guy was number 101. Oh, jeez, Miles. Oh, that's crazy. I... I hope I never have to have my tonsils removed, but... Hey, it is what it is if you have to, you know. That's rough though. Hopefully you're, uh, hopefully you're doing good now. Hopefully you're doing good now. What's up, Merle? That doesn't surprise me, man. That seems about right, Merle. That seems accurate. One oh two. I've tried it a long time ago, Deer Slayer. Wasn't a big fan of it, to be honest. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of people talking about how the, the Ravens game was rigged. <laughs> I don't really watch them anymore, though. Like, I don't watch football that much, so. What'd you not see? Uh, two small males, Carlos. We just started up. We just started up on today's uh, grind. What is the easiest great one to grind? I would say Fallow Deer. Fallow Deer is definitely the easiest one. What map? This is Layton Lakes. Got my fishing license today. I'm excited. Got my first piebald diamond mallard. Nice. That's awesome, man. Small male three here. How's it going, Kristen? Ah, uh, maybe at some point, Stephanie. Got my second diamond bison. Nice voter. That's awesome, man. Who do you think will win the Lions versus Niners game? I, like I said, I don't watch football nowadays, so I'm not sure. I mean, I kind of hope Lions, just because it'd be kind of crazy to see the Lions in the Super Bowl. <laughs> That'd be pretty wild. Look at that little guy. Small male. Ah, I missed the hard shot. No. I don't even know if that's going to kill him. It might not. Hard to say. What's up, ASAP? How you been? Hope you're well. 
Still has not died. Wow. Yeah, we didn't even get vitals at all. Do I ever get bored while grinding? Sometimes. It really depends on, like, how long it's been since we had something new. Like, uh, if it's, you know, a month after an update that added a new great one, chances are I'm not going to get bored very easily because we have, like, recently got a new great one, you know? But if it's been over six months since we've seen a new great one to the game, actually, it's like seven months at this point, yeah, I'm at the point where it is starting to be like, ah, it's just the same, same great ones over and over again. Moose is the only one right now that I can say I'm not bored of. And that is because there's still so many combos that I need. I still need so many different variations. But like, I really hope we get a new great one soon, man. Like, I, I need something new to chase after. Or like, at least give us some new gear or new guns or like new animals or new true racks, like something. So that we have something different to go after. Because it's been a while since we got, like, some new trophies to chase after, or some new, like, guns to use, so... I'd love to see that. You guys know it, the dog update just really wasn't for me. Because I'm not much of a bird hunter. So yeah, for me it feels like it's been ages since we got an update. You got this, E plays. You got this, man. You're still early on in the grind. You got this. Jared, thank you for the five months as a member. Hi, Scarecrow. How are you doing today? This year, I'm excited for Fairly Odd Parents, a new Wish 3D reboot because it's time to start a new generation. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Thank you for the uh, five months once again. When do I think the next great one will be? If I had to take a guess, probably whenever we get a new map. Which could be a while. We don't even know, like, when we're going to get a new map. I mean, I guess they could drop one sooner. I just don't see that being very likely, considering the past... Uh, in the past, they've always released it with a map. But I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I'm hoping that we'll get something, something sooner than the next map. I think next map will be in like June. Yeah, probably. That's my prediction as well. I feel like it's going to be the normal time frame. What's up, Rack? How's it going? What do you mean you just got here? I saw you at the beginning. It's surprising that you don't like bird hunting, Scarecrow. Well, scarecrows tend to scare birds away, you know, so it makes sense. That'd be a long time till June without update. I'm sure they do updates in between, but I, I feel like the next map is definitely going to be in June. I mean, maybe we could get it like a month or two early. That would actually be pretty nice. What's up, A? How you doing, man? Great one this run. Ooh, that's a bold prediction, dude. That's a bold prediction. Two more down. Let's go. When is the next map coming out in Call of the Wild? We don't know as of now, but we assume it's probably going to be June. Like they typically would do. Oh, nice, Ken. Nice. Yeah, that Speckled was a beautiful, great one. I wouldn't mind getting another Speckled with a different rack. Because I do like that, uh, that fur type. The Speckled is beautiful. What's up, Pug T? How's it going? Hope we get a Great One Elk. Me too. Great One Elk is definitely top of the list for me. I'd love to see that. Why have my zones disappeared even though there isn't any hunting pressure at a lot of the zones? Uh, were they solos? If it was just a single male or like a couple of single males in the same zone and you kill them all, then they're going to change zones.
Solos almost always relocate to a new area every time you kill them. Which is why they're so rough to deal with in a grind. Man, I'm off today with the uh, aiming. Probably because I've been doing a lot of the fallow deer for the uh, Great One Before Level 60 series. And on that account, I didn't have the uh, zeroing perks, right? So I'm used to aiming differently than I would now. I need to get back in the groove. Okay, there he is. He died. We're good. He died. Uh, no, Luca, you didn't miss anything. You think I'm gonna get an Ashen typical wreck? No, st don't wish that upon me, Fishman. I don't need a third one. That'd be crazy if I got another Ashen typical. That, like, what are the chances of that are so low? There's 24 different combinations of rack and fur type. Like, what would be the odds that I would get another Ashen typical for the third time in 11 grinds? That would just be crazy if that happened. Thunder, thank you for the 11 months, man. Really appreciate it. How many kills am I into the grind? 109 right now. Nothing there. Oh, nice, Timothy. That's awesome. Oh, no, Clint. That sucks, man. I've had that happen before. Not with a rare, but I, I've had a diamond before that I uh, hit poorly and could never find. And I think it was due to a tracking bug back in the day. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was due to a tracking bug. Because, like, three, four years ago, there used to be a lot of bugs with tracking. Like, it was very common that in certain parts of Leighton Lakes, you just wouldn't see tracks no matter what. Oh, jeez, Anthony. <laughs> you going for the, the Sanctuary Great One? One of these days, I should try to do that as well. Just completely go crazy trying to get a Great One to spawn in the Sanctuary. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Flanky, what's up, man? What's up, Flanky? It's going good, Luca. It's going really good. Doing quite well today. Yeah, he's definitely in the back. I think? Or is he in the front? Oh, he's in the front. He's just got a really bad angle. There we go. See, I just need to aim a little bit higher. Then we're hitting those shots. Oh, let's go, Tokyo. Let's go, man. That's awesome. Nice, Flanky. Nice. Love to hear it, man. Love to hear it. Nice, Memphis. That's awesome, dude. Congrats on your diamond white tail. That's kind of a weird looking three. That guy looks really strange, actually. We'll have to take a, a closer look at him once we take him down. Ah, uh, yes, we are herd managing the moose. I herd manage most of my great one grinds. Because I just find it more fun than playing without it. A puny level two. Oh no, I hit her in the face. Okay, we got a main menu so that she doesn't die. But first, let's grab these because she's not going to die anytime soon, I don't think. But I think we have time to go look at that weird level three. Yeah, he's right here. We should be good. How's it going, Jacob? 
Oh, nice, Ian. I mean, unfortunately, it's a solo, but hey, always good to see a five. Yeah, that's a weird one. That dude is really, really, really weird. Boy is so twisted. All right, now let's main menu before that female dies. Am I spawning a lot of twos? Uh, yeah, I didn't take my HM super, super far with Moose because I feel like with Moose, you just don't really need to take it as far. And it's really annoying to try and get it to the same level um, as my Fallow Deer or Whitetail HM. And I just haven't really seen the need to go any further than what I've got it. Like, instead of going to the uh, approximately 70% level 2s and, like, small 3s, I just went to, like, 60, probably. Like, 60, 65. It's like, it's not as far as I would normally take HM, right? But with Moose, they're so tough to manage down, especially with the amount of solos that you have to chase, that most people, including, like, the hardcore grinders, like, uh... I buy even people like I buy consider this to be like a pretty decent like level of HM for moose because they're just tough overall oh, I stream multiple times a week uh, chief I'm assuming you probably uh, missed those notifications but welcome to the stream man good to see you why do my drinking zones disappear after I kill the biggest male in the herd uh that that shouldn't be a thing. So, like, I, I'm gonna need more info. Like, are are your zones like super full of hunting pressure? Was it possibly the only one available in that zone? Like, you know, what's going? What what's it like? What's your what's your map looking like? Are you watching the hunting pressure? Are you making sure that it's not the only one in that zone? Why do I shoot the twos? I see everyone say not to shoot twos. Are you trying to get lots of threes? No, no, no. So this is a very commonly confused like part of HM. You don't want twos in your main zones. You only want the twos and other low levels in the zones that you're not hunting as your primary grinding zones, right? So the goal is to manage down every zone on your map, except for the ones that you choose to have as your main zones. Like all the zones I'm grinding right now, these are my main zones, the ones I'm set up on. I've managed down all of the other zones on the map, except for the ones that I'm hunting currently. These are the ones that I'm going to shoot no matter what they respawn as, because I've already managed down the map as far as I want to. Ah, missed the heart. Sucks to suck, Crow. I gotta get good, I guess. Oh, he is booking it. Dude is booking it. Okay, he's down. We're good. What's my favorite gun? My favorite gun is the 308 AR. Nice, EXE. I'm not going to be doing any multiplayer today. Because uh, we're doing our grind in... I can't really grind in uh, multiplayer. Not effectively, at least. I'm 601 kills into my fallow grind. I have 11 diamonds and 2 rares. Do you think I'm on track? Uh, it's hard to say. It's really tough to tell when a great one's going to spawn. Like, there's really no way to know. That's the thing about the great ones. Like, whether you're using herd management or not, you still never know if you're going to get, like, a 200 kill grind or a 500 kill grind or a 1,000 or a, a 5,000. Like, there's no way to really tell how long your grind is going to be. 
The only thing that we can really see is that if you do herd management properly, it does seem to make great ones on average spawn a little bit faster. But that's like if you do HM properly. There's a lot of factors that go into it, you know? A lot of factors that we don't even know. How many kills do I have so far? 118. Uh, you're able to do it as well, Kai, because you're a member. So you're able to do the commands also. What weapon am I using to kill the moose? I'm using the 300 Magnum, uh, Randy. Fantastic moose rifle. Probably my favorite gun for moose. Gosh, I cannot hit the vitals on this guy. Like, this zone, I'm just not hitting it. He's not even that far away. He's 188. I'm zeroed for 150. I'm just not aiming right, I guess. Oh, did I just hit his neck? <laughs> I just neck shot him. What's up, G-Man? Hey, J6, how's it going, dude? Are oh, you swapping over to the Twitch metal, man? Hey, do what you want to do, man, you know? <laughs> Hunting Simulator 1999, best game out there, no cap for real, for real. Is that even a game? I, I'm assuming it probably is. Man, there was so many games. There were so many hunting games in like the late 90s, early 2000s. Like that was an era where we got so many hunting games. Nowadays, you don't see nearly as many or at least not as many notable ones. How do you spawn so many diamonds? With herd management. If you want more info on herd management, I've got guides on the channel that explain the whole process. Just type in Scarecrow... Call the Wild Herd Management, and it'll bring up lots of, like, uh, guides and stuff. Or you can just find the, um, the playlist that I've got here on the channel of it. Uh, maybe, Tyler. We'll see. Nice, Tay. That's awesome. Congrats on your first great one. What species was it? And did you get one of the uh, combos you liked? Yo, what's up, Andy? How's it going? Um, yes, I like salt. My my tips would be, and this is exactly what I did. Ooh, that's a weird looking three. He's got kind of like tines pointing up. Interesting. But what I would recommend doing is I would go to YouTube, right? And just search up, like, how to start streaming in 2024. You will find, like, so many different guide videos and stuff that'll detail all the stuff that you would need to know. Like, YouTube has an insane amount of videos that, like, walk you through every aspect of it. Uh, yes, Raymond. I saw him in here a couple minutes ago. Welcome back, E-Plays. Lions are winning 14 to 0. Man, oh man. Back when I used to watch football, I never would have thought the Lions could ever do anything. <laughs> I think two of them didn't render in. Let's back up. Or maybe we only have one male here. Because the female just rendered in. What gun am I using? This is the 300 Magnum. Fantastic rifle. It comes with Yukon Valley.
Yeah, Jay Frith, like, YouTube's got a uh, plethora of information on, like, everything you could possibly think of. It's kind of crazy. There he is. Kind of popped up behind us. Sneaky little feller. We need a nuke for grinding. <laughs> yeah, it just, just insta-kills every animal on the map. That'd be crazy. What's up, Platinum? How rare are the albino red deer? They're quite rare. Uh, I sometimes go thousands of kills without seeing an albino red deer. Like, you're going to find the piebald the most common with red deer. And then Mela and albino are going to be much more rare. Nah, I can't, Carlos. I'm allergic, dude. What's my favorite great one? My favorite great one is the moose. The moose. The moose is not here. Huh. Well then. Silly moose. I have the zeroing perks and the button will not change the zeroing. Uh, yes. Yeah, so the th what you got to do in order to actually get it is you have to activate the perk. So go into the uh, perks right here, find zeroing, and then you have to click it, and it'll give you the option to click activate. And then that will make it so that you can use it. And the reason you have to do that is because they do have like multiple active perks, and you can only like use one of them at a time. Um, so you have to activate it before using it. <laughs> yeah, definitely Metal Man. Definitely Metal Man, definitely. For real, for real. Sir. One twenty five on the grind. Nice, Liam. Hopefully it makes diamond. How long am I going to stream? Uh, probably two to three hours like normal. What map would you guys recommend for Moose? Um, if you're going to be doing herd management, I recommend Layton. If you're just going to be shooting every male you find, I recommend either Medved or Revontuli, whichever of those two maps you like the most. And the reasoning for that is because Layton has a lot less Moose, so it's faster to herd manage. But if you just want to shoot everything in sight, uh, you're going to find a lot more moose on Medved and Rev. Little baby level two. I just can't hit the hard shots here, man. This zone, I just can't hit the hard shots on. What's wrong with me? I can't do it. Crazy. HMNEM moose. Ugh, ugh. Oh gosh. New England mountains herd management. Ooh, ooh, uh. I could never. I could never do it. Am I going to play Way of the Hunter? Yes, I will be playing it on the release of the brand new map. Um, you guys may have saw, I already put out a post saying that I've got early access to the new Way of the Hunter map. Um, I've been playing around on it, you know, getting stuff recorded. But obviously I can't talk about any of that yet. I can only tell you guys that I've uh, been able to play it. And on, uh, on release day, we're going to be going crazy. We're gonna be going absolutely crazy. I gotta say, like recently, I've really, uh, really been appreciating the the stuff they've done with Way of the Hunter. I feel like the game is coming along nicely. And I have no doubt that in like a couple of years, like when a lot of people have upgraded from like the Xbox One. 
and the PlayStation 4 to the PS5 and the Xbox Series S and X when they're a little bit more like readily available because obviously like Right now, they're still pretty expensive, but in a couple years, they'll definitely be cheaper, I imagine, and I'm sure a lot more people will have them. I think Way of the Hunter is going to become more popular. I think the biggest issue that they run into right now is that they're not on last-gen consoles. I think that's the biggest issue that Way of the Hunter runs into. And because it's not on last-gen consoles, they miss out on a pretty massive player base that would be interested in playing the game if they just had access to it. I think, like, in a couple of years, once more people have, like, the PS5 and the Xbox Series S and X, I definitely think Way of the Hunter is going to become more popular because they're making some really good updates. They've been doing some really good updates to the game. I mean, not that long ago, like... Within the last couple months, they added a bunch of new racks to the mule deer, and some of them have drop tines and stuff. Like, that's cool. And I hope they do that to a lot of the species. I hope they go back and add crazy stuff to a bunch of them. JoJo spamming the same thing uh, five times within the last 15 messages on my uh, chat is not going to make me answer you quicker, just so you know. Quite the opposite, in fact. Where's the mail? Oh, I see him. Hiding back there. Holy! Just Oracle, thank you so much for the subscription on Twitch. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a fantastic day. How's it going, uh, lurking moderator that I will not name in case you aren't wanting to be known that you're here? How's it going? Yes, I did see Flinter's five-star moose. I, I actually commented on it uh, a little bit after he posted it. That is insane. Like, that's more... I think that's probably more rare than a super rare in Call of the Wild. Because of the fact that, like, that wasn't on, like, the private land pieces that give better genetics animals. Like, that was on public land. Like, that's crazy to get something that rare. Like, oh my gosh. It makes me want to try and get something like that. Because that is just ridiculously rare, man. So cool. Yeah, Metal Man. <laughs> oh, is that a five? Hey, it's a five. That probably isn't diamond, but that's a five. He's wonky, man. Yeah, I don't think that's going to make it. I don't think that will make it. I'll be very surprised if it makes diamond. Wonky ones typically troll for me. Nice. We got a good shot in there, though. Oh, don't float, you silly. He's floating away. Because of course he would. Nice, Micah. That's awesome, man. Nice, he plays. Small chance he makes it? Yeah, there's a small chance he makes it. Typically, these 50-50 rack fives troll for me, though. Yeah, he trolled by a good bit. R.I.P. Oh, well. Hey, Faded, I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good as well. What do you use for your thumbnails? I started YouTube two weeks ago and I struggle with thumbnails. I use Photoshop and I just looked up a lot of like guides on how to use it and stuff.
Got a 104 yard bow shot and a gold whitetail yesterday. That is insane, Jay Frith. That's a crazy shot right there. Nice salt. You called it, dude. That's crazy. That was a crazy accurate guess. <laughs> Holy. What's up, Trip? Hey, Scotty, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Yes, just stand there, Mr. Moose. Thank you. I appreciate the cooperation. How rare is a 50-50 rat Great One Moose? I just got one as my first Great One Moose, and it was a fabled speckled 50-50. That's very rare. It is definitely the rarest form of, like, antlers to get on the Great One Moose. You don't see the 50-50 racks very often with Moose. I've only killed one of them. And right now I've got 10, 10 different Great One Moose. Only one has been a 50-50 rack. I only know two other people or two other content creators that have one. Like, uh, it's definitely a low chance to get it to be a 50-50. It feels like maybe 1 in 20, 1 in 10, like... I'd say about 1 in 20 end up being a 50-50 rack. You know what? Let's, uh, let's mix it up. That's a pretty small two. I think we're going to leave him and we're going to kill something in this other zone. Just to mix it up, you know? Where are they? Where'd y'all go? We should have two males there. Nice, Eli. That's awesome. Yeah, I buy and Mel are the only content creators that I know of that have the 50-50 rack. Alright, let's shoot this guy. Ah, don't be shaking at me. Calm down, buddy. Any diamonds? Uh, not today, no. No diamonds today. I don't know, Kai. There should be no reason why you would lose that many that fast unless you deleted them with hunting pressure or they were solos and you shot all of them. Um, if you didn't do either of that of those things, then there should be no reason why that would happen. So I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know. Great one coming? Maybe. There's a lot of small males showing up, but we could just be on a bad streak, you know? We could just be on an unlucky streak. How can I make my white tail grind faster? That's the thing about grinding, right? There's no way to, like, make it happen faster. Because though herd management does seem to have an effect on Great One spawns, at the end of the day, it's still up to whether or not you get good luck as well. All you really can do, man, is just keep shooting. Just keep shooting males. Keep grinding. It'll spawn when it wants to spawn. Holy crap, Ender. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Congrats. That is like the, uh... The thing I'm always looking for on these moose grinds, aside from, obviously, the great one in super rares and rares. Like, the 301s, those are crazy rare. How many kills now in the grind? 134. Ah, uh, it's a 300 magnum, Justin. Oh, I thought that was a female. <laughs> I looked at it and I was like, why do we have three females here? But no, it's just a little too. Dude, why are we getting so many small ones? Like last grind, we had diamonds everywhere. And there was barely any small fellers. We're on a bad streak in terms of like the sizes of these moose.
Just got two fives in one zone for Fallow. Nice, Billy. That's awesome. That is awesome, dude. Always crazy to see that happening. Come on. Come on, buddy. You gotta hide behind the tree. Oh, man. They love those trees. All right, we got him. Nice, CG. That's awesome. I hope the grind goes smoothly for the rest of it. I mean, it's great one this rotation. Maybe. Maybe, dude. You never know. Stop. You're floating. Uh. Yeah, this is Leighton Lake District. That is the map that we're on. Should you do your homework now or later? I mean, you might as well do it while you're watching the stream, you know? There's one thing about, like, uh, any type of work in life. The sooner you get it done, the better, you know? Just get it done. Get it out of the way. That way you don't have to worry about it later. What I say is the easiest reserve to do a moose grind? I would say probably Leighton Lakes. Ooh, oh, that's a guaranteed dime. That's a guaranteed dime. Let's go. Why am I not hunting Fallow for season three? Because I still have one more episode recorded that I need to release on the channel before I can continue or else that episode will like essentially be for nothing because I'll have new stuff to show off, you know? I can't get ahead of myself with the episodes. We're in no rush, you know? Come on, Mr. Five. This dude, huge. There we go. Now he's moving finally. That's a no brow time one as well. That's crazy. He's huge for having no brows. That's actually wild. What blinds am I using? I'm currently using the waterfowl blinds from the duck and cover DLC. Uh, Andy, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate your fallow grind or er, fallow grind guides. Help me finish my grind with a fabled painted Irish rack at 271.98. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. That is an awesome, great one, man. Congrats. 282. That's our first diamond of the day. Let's go. First diamond of the day, diamond number four of the grind. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, man. Kind of a cool looking one, too. Like, his paddles really dip in. He's got very dippy paddles, you know? <laughs> Little dippy paddles. Wow, they actually kind of stick straight up. When you look at it from this angle, they kind of go, like, upwards. That's cool. That's a cool looking diamond. Might be the coolest diamond moose I've seen. One of them, at least. Yeah, I think it's two different variations of it, Static. I feel like uh, it's probably just like a small and large variation of it. How many kills? 138, approximately. Uh, not sure, Ghost VR. I don't know, man. That would be something for support to figure out, probably. Not really anybody that can help you with login issues aside from, like, the hunter support, because, like, I, I don't know the type of stuff that would cause it to not let you log in. If you're talking about Apex Connect, I don't know what else you'd be referring to. Got one Mela Diamond, two Piebalds, and two other diamonds. Let's go, Danny. That's insane, man. That's a that sounds like a good day of hunting. Well, I still moose grind if I get the birch fur. Uh yeah, because there's a there's a couple of different things I really want. I would like another two-tone. The two-tone is just so stunning. And I also need a spruce. And I'd like to get the typical rack on something other than an ashen, man. 
Like my only full typical racks are Ashens, and the Ashens my least favorite fur. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of things I'd like to do aside from just getting a fabled birch. My ultimate dream is the fabled birch typical rack. Got a three there. Let's go. Yeah, the Ashen, I feel, looks just too close to a common moose. I mean, it's got a lot of cool markings, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, it just doesn't stand out as much as the others. I like the flashy ones. The thing about moose, though, is the Ashen is still really good. Like, the moose looks so nice that even the Ashen being my least favorite, I still like it. Just not as much as the other ones. Appreciate it, Danny. Yes, you do need to claim your animals when grinding. That's been confirmed in a roundabout way by the devs. If you want to get a great one, you got to claim your kills. Nobody knows why, but apparently you need to claim them if you want to get a great one. They never really went into detail on why. Jaxie just said on one of the live streams that players have noticed that... You know, if you're not picking up your kills, you may not get your great one. And I think it makes sense, right? Like, even though they respawn, maybe they just made it so it can't respawn as a great one if you haven't claimed it. I don't know. It's hard to say. Honestly, I feel like initial spawns aren't even a thing anymore, um, Alex. I feel like they just don't exist anymore because I haven't seen any proof that they do. Every time somebody claims they've got an initial spawn, like they aren't able to provide proof of it. And most of the time they said that they killed other stuff first, but they assumed it was a uh, initial spawn because it was in a solo zone. But with stuff like moose and fallow, you could kill a solo fallow deer that is in the same zone as a herd and think that it's a uh, part of that herd when it's really a solo and then it's going to spawn somewhere else. So I, I personally don't think initial spawns are a thing at all anymore. And you know one of the biggest giveaways that makes me think that they don't exist anymore? Because the people that used to get great ones all the time via pop reset scanning and stuff, like, they don't get great ones anymore. They stopped getting great ones. So... To me, that just says that they can't be initial spawns anymore. When the cheaters stop getting initial spawns, you know that something's different. <laughs> I feel like they're not a thing. They definitely used to exist at some point, though, because I got an initial spawn off of Layton a very long time ago. This was, like, right after Rancho was released. And this was kind of when, like, the uh, the people that used to pop scan and stuff would get a lot of initial spawn great ones. And, yeah, they, they just stopped getting them. So I don't think they exist anymore. Do I consider population scanners as cheating? Um, the thing about it is if you're just doing it for yourself in private and you're not like, you know, spamming resets and using it, then I don't really care if people use it, right? Like, I'm obviously not going to use it myself because I'm a content creator, but I'm not necessarily super against other people using it. Because at the end of the day, it's not my, it's not my game, it's their game. They can do what they want with it, but... I definitely don't like the people that just spam resets while using it, because that just seems a little, I don't know, it just doesn't seem right. Especially when like someone like myself is out here grinding and putting in the actual work to like manage the herds down and, and get the great ones in super rares. 
and then somebody else, you know, just resets a million times till one shows up. Like it just, it just doesn't, uh, it's like a kick in the gut to the people that put in the work, you know? But again, it's their game at the end of the day. If that's how they want to play it, then so be it. As long as they're not bragging about it and pretending they don't do it, then I don't care. As long as you're keeping it away from multiplayer and you're not like bragging about your cheated trophies and discords and stuff, then I don't really mind. Because at that point, it doesn't affect anyone else. It's when it starts affecting other people that I feel it becomes a problem. I think we got vitals on that second one. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, I'm I'm aware of that, Alex. I I'm I'm not talking about any specific thing. I'm just generalizing like modding in general. Keep it out of multiplayer, no. That's that's all I'm saying. I I don't like it when people bring their mods into multiplayer because it ruins the experience for me when I'm playing. Do I have a favorite sport? I used to watch a lot of football. I don't really watch any sports nowadays. Appreciate it, Nikki. If you make a new game, does it take away all your DLCs or does it just get rid of your ammo, tents, stuff on a specific map or does it get rid of, not get rid of either? So when you click new game, it will not get rid of your DLC because that isn't like uh, controlled by, you know, the new game button. That's something you purchase with real money. It's a part of the game after you've bought it. Um, It will reset everything to do with your profile though. It'll reset all of your maps, all of your money, all of your purchased gear. It will reset everything, your player level perks. The only thing it doesn't reset is obviously DLCs, like I mentioned, and it's not going to reset your trophies. Your trophies will stay. Your trophies and your lodges stay, uh, no matter how many times you click new game. So you'll always keep your trophies, but everything else gets reset. And honestly, I'm happy that they make it so trophies don't get reset when you click new game. Because I know there's quite a few people where, you know, they like resetting their game to, like, uh, have something else to go do, you know? Find the new, uh, or, like, refind everything on the maps again, like, have something to work towards. But if you lost your trophies when resetting, there would be a lot of people that would probably never click reset. I don't think it's necessarily something they need to prevent. Um, oh yeah. And I don't think they will. Um, I think, you know, it's... It's one of those things where... It only affects the people that, like, don't like it, right? There's a lot of people that love it. And they've said many times, you know, play the game how you want, so I doubt they'll ever, like, make it so people can't do it. Because they've said before, you know, the people bought the game, and so it's their game to do what they want with. It's uh, To be honest, it's pretty much on us as a community to decide what the community sees as permissible and what the community sees as being, like, not good, you know? And right now, modding is one of those things that a lot of people consider to be a bad thing in Call of the Wild. And for a while, herd management was, like, super argued against, and over time, it became more and more accepted. And now we're at a point where, like, it's been accepted to the point where the devs have had to come out and say, hey, it's okay to do. People can do what they want. 
there's always going to be like uh, controversial stuff in any game that like some players like and other players hate. All right, let's go ahead and swap loadouts. I don't necessarily think so, Johnny. I'm just saying that uh, it's up to the player base, right? The players like greatly govern what they see as permissible and what they don't. Okay, slot two. Back to the moose setup. These guys are definitely spooked off though, because we've had to place a bunch of stuff down. <laughs> They're out of here, man. Yeah, true, uh, Emad Rat. True, man. Some people love the cosmetics in the game. Others feel like they're pointless. Another example of it, right? Although that's more like uh, that's more like a feedback to the developers type of thing than like players deciding what is permissible and what isn't. Oh gosh, dude, I hit the little guy in front. How did that even happen? His antler was the only thing that I could have hit there. What? <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Ow, man. The hitboxes sometimes are a little wacky. What was the last time I grinded a Great One Red Deer on New Zealand? Uh, for Great One before level 60 season 2. We grinded for a Great One on New Zealand. On the main account, though, it's been over a year. Probably like a year and a half at this point. Hundred and fifty kills on the grind. How's it going, Nikki? Do I play Way of the Hunter? I do. I don't play it as often as Call of the Wild, but I do play Way of the Hunter from time to time, mainly whenever they come out with a new update. Yes, I do hold breath when I shoot. Hey, shorty boy, I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good as well. Nice four there. Big boy four. Ah. Messed up the shot. Ah, he stopped. No. Trying to hit a follow-up, man. Run in a straight line and, and stop stopping. Jeez. What's my favorite Fallow Great One combo? Uh, I like the Fabled Mocha Blade Rack the most. And the Fabled Mocha Typical. Like, those are my two favorites, easily. For sure, Static, for sure. Welcome back, Kane. Uh, you want to keep fours and below, Soviet. Fours and below is what you keep for HM for Red Deer. And you want to kill fives and above. If you'd like to, you can stack the uh, nines in your main zones, but that's like, you know, personal preference whether you want to or not. Appreciate it, Amber. Hope you're doing good. Little three there. Do I have a fabled hooded for fallow? I I think I have two of them. I might be wrong, but I think I have two. I know I've got a hooded Irish elk rack. And I've got a hooded spoon rack, I think. So yeah, I think I have two hoodeds. Uh, maybe, Brian. I don't know. 
Maybe. I mean, I'll consider it. I don't know if I'm really wanting to set up a full new grind at the moment, though. Well, we'll see, though. We'll see. Honestly, I think I might do three first. Like, I might start with three. Because if I if I go straight to doing, like, uh, killing five different great ones in a row or four different great ones in a row, then what can I do to top that, you know? I think I might try for three first. Like, I'll try to get a Moose on Layton. I'll try to get a Fallow on Tiawaroa. And I'll try to get a Black Bear on Silveridge Peaks. So I think we'll start with three. And then if I can complete the getting three on there, then we'll go for four at another time, and then eventually five, or maybe even six whenever we get a new great one. I think we'll kind of like, you know, step our way up to the ultimate goal of getting one of every great one on a map at the same time. Obviously, they wouldn't be all on, all on the same map, but like having them all on my maps at the same time and then killing all five of them in a row. That would just, that would take so long to do though. Holy crap, that would take long to grind out. Like I think it took us a week to get the, uh, the moose and the whitetail on, on Layton. So I can imagine like getting a moose on Layton, a fallow on Tiawaroa, and a black bear on Silver Ridge would probably take me like two weeks at least. I guess it depends on our RNG as well. If we get short grinds, then it wouldn't be too bad. How often do I stream? Usually about five times a week. Sometimes four. Like recently, it's life's been busy, man. And I've I've had to have a couple days where I didn't stream when I normally would have. So the last couple weeks, it's been more like three to five times a week. Yeah, Jacqueline, that's uh that that that's been a, a thing for quite a while, hasn't it? Didn't he get it, like, right after the map release? What's my shortest grind? It was 28 kills for Moose. My shortest grind is a 28 kill Moose grind that we got not that long ago, actually. I just posted the video for it yesterday or the day before. It was either yesterday or the day before. I think it was the day before. But I actually got it like around a week before then. Here on live stream. It was crazy. Next kill, a great one chicken. <laughs> a great one chicken. <laughs> oh man. Did you imagine? Do you imagine we actually get one? Something that doesn't even exist and we get it. What's up, Dominic? Gonna start HM on Savannah. Do you have any tips or tricks or guns I should get? Uh, what species are you gonna be managing? Because that will determine, like, what answer I give you. Imagine setting up for this. A great one, Moose on Layton. Great one, Fallow on Tiawaroa. Great one, Red Deer on Emerald Coast. Great one, Bear on SRP. And a great one, Whitetail on Rev. Maybe, man. I don't know if I'd pick Rev as my, like, second place to grind Whitetail, though. Because, like, there's a lot of spots that they can be on that map. I almost feel like Rancho would be better. For HM. Like, I'm specifically talking for HM. I think Rancho has less places they can be. It's more brushy, though, which is a problem. But, I mean, I've dealt with Layton's brush. I can... I can deal with Rancho's brush too, I bet. Oh. How? How how did I not get vitals there? Oh well. You be HMing lions? 
Uh, yeah, definitely use the 300 Magnum then. If you're going to be hunting lions, 300 Magnum is the rifle I would recommend. I don't compare myself, Noah. I don't compare myself to other creators, you know? Because, I mean, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of them. So I try not to do any comparisons between me and other creators. At the end of the day, we all have our different things that make people want to watch, you know? Hey now, don't be floating away, bro. What you doing? What's up, Silver? Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate that. Have I ever shot a diamond rabbit? Yes, I've shot uh, a few of them, actually. I'm trying to think of how many of each. I think I have two scrub hairs. I have one or two scrub hair. That's for sure. I have two European hair. I have, like, three or four European rabbits. I have, I think, two or three white-tailed jackrabbits. I think I have two or three antelope jackrabbit as well. I don't have a mountain hare. Like, I don't have a mountain hare diamond. That's one I still need. Uh, the only one I've ever killed was in early access, and that was back when we couldn't keep the progress. And then, what do I have for Cottontail? I think I have one Cottontail diamond. I think I only have one of them. I'm not sure what you're talking about, uh, Johnny. 20% of the way to timeout CJO. Wow, hi, Def. You're, you're saving up all those points so you can timeout CJO when he gets in here. I <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, that'll be hilarious, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate that you saved up just for him. <laughs> uh, it's funny. That's hilarious. What's the most common great one? So, no great one is, like, super easy or common to get, right? Like, they're all going to take some effort to get. I feel like Fallow is the one that most commonly spawns quickest but everybody's got different luck with stuff too some people just get unlucky with specific species that others have really good luck with like I know so many people that from the very beginning had super good luck with bears and then like I I spent 8300 kills just to get my first one then almost 4000 to get my second sometimes we just get bad luck with things Appreciate it, Randall. Thank you, Mason. I am having a good day. I hope you are as well. You have to restart your grind if the Great One spawns while you're st setting up your herd management. No, you don't have to start over anything. Think of it just as like any other spawn, except it's a Great One. Nice, Beaming Dog. Nice. He'll count 160 currently. Sometimes you get good luck too. Oh, and also Johnny, to, to what you said earlier, I can tell you one thing, none of it's on my end. I'm always a very, like, open person to doing anything. Took me 3k kills? Jeez, dude. That's a long grind. I'm glad you got your great one, though. My bad luck grind is the moose spent over a year on Yukon and just switched over to Medven. It's still no great one. Ah, man. You know, that reminds me of one of my moose grinds. I had one moose grind where I spent 4,200 kills on Medved. And eventually I just got tired of Medved and I switched to Rev and got the great one 300 kills later. 
Like sometimes you just need a little switch up. Sometimes that all that's all it takes, you know. You know, change the scenery, boosts the mood, and sometimes you may just have bad luck on that map. No, you cannot shoot animals in the sanctuary. You can't. I've tried it before. Me and Rooster like glitched into the sanctuary when we did our live stream a few months ago. Actually, more than a few months ago at this point. It was uh, shortly after the, after the release of uh, Australia. Yeah, Rooster and I did a stream back then. And we glitched ourselves into the sanctuary. And yeah, you cannot kill any of the animals there. They're all invincible. I just destroyed a level 7 moose with a crossbow. Well, level 7 moose don't exist, so are, uh, was it a different level? Or was it a red deer, maybe? I don't know, bro. Uh, Kane, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Seventeen hundred kills in no Mela's or Albino. That's pretty normal to be honest, Billy. Like Mela and Albino or Fallow Deer, Red Deer, and like a lot of the others, I feel like they gotta be like a one in two thousand chance. What'd you say is the fastest method to pieball at albino mela red deer? Just shoot every single male in sight. Because rares seem to be the one thing in the game that is 100% unpredictable and random. Like, I have no clue how the rares spawn. So really the only way to do it, the only way to get them is to just shoot as many of them as you possibly can to get respawns. I'm not sure, Lovebucks. Not sure, man. I have not had that happen personally. There's a lot of things that can dictate, like, crashing and stuff like that. It could be as simple as, like, not cleaning out your hardware properly, causing overheating and making things crash. Uh, or it could just be, like, the specific hardware your PC is using. Um, it could be... Like, the condition of your console, if you're on console. Like, there's a lot of things that can affect crashing. I personally haven't had a crash in Call of the Wild for a while now. I think the last time I crashed in Call of the Wild was like two or three updates ago. Like, it's been surprisingly smooth for me recently. One male there. We've only been getting one male here recently. Kane, thank you so much for the uh, super chat once again. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Hey, little guy. Speaking of rares, when are we going to get an albino or mela moose again? It's been a little while. We've had a couple piebalds recently, but no Mela or Albino. Nice. Appreciate it, Kane. Appreciate it. Wild Boar would have the coolest first for a great one, plus the tusks would be so cool. I do think they could make a wild boar interesting. Is it my first pick for something I'd love to see in the game? Not really. Do I think it's pretty likely that we could get a boar? Yeah, I do think it's pretty likely. And I do think that they could make it look good. Because let's be honest, nobody expected Expansive Worlds to do a great one bear. And nobody expected it to look good. But they made it look amazing. Oh, absolutely nothing as of now, High Def. Nobody knows what it could be. Oh my gosh. 
Right now, we've got like absolutely no leads as to what the next great one could be. Really hoping they'll start like dropping some some hints and stuff to new content soon. Because we need something new in the game, man. We need something new that we can go after. The Hall of Trolls have started. Feels bad, man. Roe Deer Great One is underrated or Mule Deer. I do think that Roe Deer is an underrated pick. Because if you look up non-typical Roe Deer online, or, um... What's it called? Like, Parok? Par Parokhead? Uh... Roe Deer? Like, they look pretty crazy, man! Or is it like Paroke? It's something like that. Some, some type of weird spelling. Essentially, when, uh... How do I put this? How do I put this in a PG form? Um... Essentially, when a roe deer gets castrated, right, it's it's antlers like just grow into a giant clump of antler on their head that almost looks like a brain. It is the craziest looking thing I've ever seen antlers do. And so I think a great one roe deer could look kind of crazy if they did something like that. If they mixed it up to where you could have that on a great one roe deer, and you could also get like non-typical antlers on a great one, Roe Deer. I think things could be kind of crazy for Roe Deer. <laughs> I don't even know, Doan. I don't even know. I'm trying to explain what the uh, I think it's like par paroke paroke head paroke head or something like that. Whatever they call it. <laughs> Pretty much, Grey Angel. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but hey, uh, how else do I put it? You know, that's that's exactly how it forms. That's exactly how their antlers do that, so. And it looks so crazy that I feel like it would have to be part of a Great One Roe Deer if we get one. But anyway, how you doing, Doan? Hope you're doing good. What is considered a long fallow grind? Uh, I'd say over 2,500 would be a long one. Like when you're between 1,500 and 2,500, it's like, okay, that one's getting on the long end. But if it's over 2,500, that's a long fallow grind. You're 3,500. Ouch, man. Ouch. I hope it happens soon, dude. I hope it happens soon. Castrated one? <laughs> that is hilarious, Miz. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, gosh. See, like, like I was saying, there's no way that I could say that without it sounding, like, weird. There's no way I could say it without it sounding weird. At least no way that I could say it that would still explain, like, what it is. Now, if we were on the, the second channel right now, I would have just gone crazy with that. We would have had some fun with it. <laughs> 9,000 kills into your Great One Whitetail grind? That's crazy, man. That's a very unlucky grind. Are you making sure to claim as many of them as you possibly can? Like you're not just leaving them on the ground, right? Ah, uh, yes, this is Leighton Lakes. This is indeed Leighton. Did I even get vitals? No, I didn't. Ah, oh, man. There's high likelihood he will not die before I'm done with this run. That herd has not been here been here for two runs. Do we got a great one here? 
I've seen nothing here for two runs. And sometimes when that happens to us, we get a great one. I don't see anything there. Oh, it died. Hold up. It died. Let's go back and get him. Oh, I was zeroed wrong? Oh, no. Well, typical scarecrow move, am I right? Typical scarecrow move. Zeroing incorrectly. Ah, I was zeroed to 150. I think I just didn't aim high enough. I if if I was at 150, I was purposely zeroed to 150. Where's the blood, bro? Where's the blood? Not here. Did it bug out? Did the tracks disappear? They did. Well, now we're never going to find him. The tracks are gone. Yeah, no blood. It just disappeared. Imagine if the game made a custom Scarecrow skin. Dude, that'd be sick. I mean, I've got a skin in the Hunter Classic. I don't have one in Call of the Wild, though. So that would be cool. Oh my gosh, you're right. I did change the time. Yeah, that would have been it. That would have been it. I did change the time, so that's why there's no tracks. That's true. Resetting the time does do that. Stop bobbing and weaving, bro. Just take the bullets. It'll hurt less if you stand still. Yeah, no problem, Joey. What's up, Jenna? Ah, oh, you're not too late. We still got like 30 to 60 minutes in the stream. Should you kill the lonely fallow? Like the uh, the solos? Uh, if you're herd managing, I would recommend managing them as quickly as you can. If you're not doing herd management, it really doesn't matter like what you kill. You can kill the solos if you want, or if you don't feel like chasing them around, you can just focus on the herds. At the end of the day, it's kind of up to you. Welcome to the stream, Wesley. Finally got my first great one fallow, or got my first great one. It's a fallow typical rack fabled hooded. After 11,386 kills, he's finally here. Thanks to your guys, I finally have a great one I've been looking for since Emerald Coast. Dude, congrats. That is awesome. That's a great combo to get to. That typical rack is one of my favorites. That's sick, dude. That's sick. Congrats. Ah, oh, we don't have a respawn there. What's up with my respawns, man? Nice, Danny. Oh, nice. Nice. I play. That's awesome. Yeah, those are all really good choices. They all look super, super good. Is there still no mail here? What's going on with our moose? What is this? Our males aren't coming back. One, like, entire herd is gone. There's got to be something going on, man. Our, there has to be a great one on our map. Like, things are way too out of whack. Like, I don't usually see them get this out of whack unless we've had a great one spawn. I feel like there has to be something. Because things are getting weird in my zones. I mean, it also could be because we swapped zones. We stopped hunting this one and we started hunting this one. So that could affect it, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Do you think the great one is at a good level of rarity or would you prefer them to be more or less rare? I think it's in a good spot because like if you really want to get them quickly, you got to put in the effort to herd manage and it takes a while to actually learn how to do that properly. And even when you know how to do it properly, it still takes a long time to do it. So I do feel like great ones are in a good place in terms of rarity.
Now, personally, if you ask me, I do think they should add something on top of Great Ones that is more rare. Like, I know there's some people that think Great Ones are way too easy to get. And I mean, most of them have probably never done herd management in their life, so they don't understand how much effort it actually takes to do it and understand it. But if people really want something to be more rare... Oh, there's a there's one of our respawns. It's over here. Honestly, what I would recommend is that they add like certain variations of each great one that are very difficult to get. Like, we need ultra rares for every great one. Because currently you can only get an ultra rare for the great one Whitetail. And it's like way too rare to the point where like less than 10 people have legitimately killed it in over three and a half years. Like, that's crazy. Like, if there was, like, a 1 in 20 chance that your Great One spawned as, like, an albino or something. Or, like, a 1 in 30 chance, right? Like, a 1 in 30 or a 1 in 20 chance of it spawning as an albino. I think that would add a lot of uh, replayability to Great Ones for the people that think they're too easy to get. Like, I don't think anything should change with the current Great Ones. I think they should just add more stuff that's more rare. Like, give us ultra rares for every great one in the game. Like, I want to get an albino great one black bear that's like a, you know, like a 1 in 20 or a 1 in 30 chance that it spawns as albino. Just think of how rare that would be and how cool it would be if you got one to spawn. I think that would be amazing. And, like, could you imagine seeing an albino, an albino Great One Moose with the big non-typical rack? Like, holy crap, that would be insane. Like, that would just be the craziest looking moose ever. That would just be insane. What's the kill count? 171 currently. There's a three there. Uh. <laughs> okay, buddy. Uh. Yeah, I saw that coming. He was glitching out so much, there was no way that I was going to hit that right. <laughs> that was crazy. I don't know what he was doing. I don't like it. <laughs> That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Uh, definitely, Alexi. Definitely. Hey, Garrett. How's it going, man? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Caden. That sucks. That sucks, dude. That sucks, man. All right, let's see if this zone finally has its moose. It's been two runs since we've seen these moose. This will be run number three. Oh, hey, they're here. And no great one. Yeah, false alarm, I guess. Both should die. What's up, Cayman? How's it going? Kind of a cool three. He looks pretty big for a three. Ah, maybe I'm seeing things. It might have been the angle. Yeah, I think it definitely was the angle. You know what? We're just going to drop one into his side. One hundred and seventy-five kills on the grind. Oh, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. The moose were so inconsistent. Yeah, they were being weird. I don't know what was up with that. 
But there clearly wasn't a great one. I, I think it could have been because we swapped zones. I think because we started hunting a different zone and stopped hunting one of our old zones, that might have been the reasoning. Uh, yes, Soviet, there is. Uh, give me two seconds and I'll get that for you, Gray Angel. <laughs> oh, man. How do you get a great one to spawn? You shoot males of the species that can uh, spawn a great one. As long as you're shooting males of a species that can spawn a great one, you have a chance of getting one. Keep in mind, it's a very slim chance, though. It's very rare. And you're most likely going to have to kill hundreds or even thousands of that species to get the great one. Did you miss anything? Uh, you missed one diamond and one troll. Been a lot of small males today. We're on kind of a rough streak of like everything being small. Does that go for bear? Ah, it goes for everything. Think bigger males have a higher chance of spawning a great one? I think it's possible. I mean, I feel like if it wasn't, then we wouldn't see any increase in great ones when using herd management, you know? Like, with HM, I get consistently shorter grinds. So does I buy. I mean, I buy's bear grinds were insane. I buy had like what? 10 or 11 great one bears within like 3000 kills, maybe even less. Ooh, that's big. I don't think that's a dime, but uh that's a nice one. So I feel like the size probably like is it HM or is it because we're shooting so many fours and stuff, you know? It's hard to say which one actually affects it the most. One of them definitely seems to. It's just hard to say which it is. Like, is it because we're shooting so many big animals? Or is it because we've got the map managed down so much, you know? Maybe one day we'll have an answer to that. Um, I do see people get them sometimes. Static, it's just rare. It's just very, very tough to do it without HM, you know? 253. But, uh, one of the viewers of the channel, Zaki, he got a 120 kill fallow grind without HM. Like, you can do it. It's just tough. What's my favorite gun? The 308 AR. Hey Evan, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? How was my day? It's been good. It's been a solid day. Hey, that's a guaranteed diamond. That's a guaranteed diamond right there. That rack never trolls. That is the 280s rack right there. Alongside uh, the smallest two of them all. Good to see another one popping up, though. Good to see another five, man. Right as we were talking about how everything has been small recently, we get a five that always makes diamond. I'm going to say... Let's see what you guys are saying in chat. 284.6, 286.5. Um, I'm going to guess 282.3. 283 283.5. Man, that's a butte. That's a butte. That's a butte right there. Love to see it. One more dime on the diamond counter. Love to see it, man. <laughs> Do 
BBF, Bro Bro Fret, not Big Boy 5. Definitely, definitely, definitely. For sure, Cayman. Yeah, I heard about that, Turtle. I heard about that. <laughs> I heard that the Lions were doing quite good, surprisingly. Honestly, I'm all for it, man. It, wouldn't this be the first time that the Lions ever made it to the Super Bowl, if I'm not mistaken? I, I remember hearing somebody say that recently. Is that true that it would be their very first time to the Super Bowl? If, if that's the case, I want them to win. I want them to make it there. And, I mean, that's a Super Bowl I'd watch just because, I mean, it's not every day you get to see the Lions in there. Since the 50s, I think. Sheesh, that is crazy. That's a long time, man. Yeah, if the Chiefs make it to the Super Bowl, we'll never hear the end of it from Brobra. Brobra will never shut up about it. <laughs> nah, I'm not really a fan of it, Static. really like it, to be honest. It just, it seems, it just tastes low quality to me. When it comes to beer, I'm more into, like, stouts. Alright, we got a reset. Chiefs done have made it. Wait, are you saying that they that they already made it to the Super Bowl? Or what? Oh, Chiefs just won. Jeez. So Chiefs made it to the Super Bowl then. Oh, another five. Let's go. Let's go. Chiefs are already in. Gosh, Chiefs versus Lions would be a crazy game. I might have to watch that. If it does end up being the Super How was that? 181. How was that a miss? How did I not hit the heart there? I mean, it's vitals, but how did I not get the heart? Nice, Daniel. That's awesome, dude. Congrats, man. Congrats. Brian is popping off. It is. We're actually starting to get some good stuff now. We were on a pretty rough streak of just not getting many fives compared to the last few grinds. Now they're popping up. This guy's probably going to troll, though. I rarely get these, like, big brow tine ones to actually make it. Yeah, yeah, as I predicted, troll. Doesn't surprise me, man. That rack rarely makes it for me, even though it looks so much bigger than the other ones. How many diamonds? Uh, we got five on the grind. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Fable Birch! Yes! Finally! Finally! We got a Fable Birch! That's another spider egg, but we got a Fable Birch! Holy crap, bro! Ah, oh, my gosh, I called it too! I knew this zone was acting weird. I knew this zone was acting weird. What's been our moose luck recently, man? 181 kills. We're on the most insane streak of moose grinds ever. This is crazy. We finally got a birch. Wait, this is the same combo Lady just got. Lady Legend just got this combo like two weeks ago. Let's go, guys. Let's go. 181 kills, man. Finally, I have the fabled birch. Now I just need the spruce. We almost have every fur type now. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Wow. Jonathan Cena, thank you so much for the gifted membership, dude. Congrats to Andy Thomas for getting that. Holy. Jenna, thank you for the super chat. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. We finally did it. We finally got the birch. I've been getting so many spider rack, though. Like, I see so many spider racks compared to the other ones. 
Holy crap. What are we going to do for this? What are we going to do for this, guys? What gun should we use? What should we go with? Jonathan Cena, thank you for the uh, super chat, dude. Much appreciated, man. Hype? Yes, hype for sure. Holy. Ooh, I kind of like the idea of a shotgun again. We used a shotgun for the last one, but I, I, I can dig a, dig a shotgun. I don't want to do a bow because this is our first fabled birch. Actually, nah, never mind. We want a bow. We do want to do a bow because I'm going to get super close to it anyway to get some nice pictures. Oh, I should probably back up my save file and notify the Discord that we spawned a great one. All right, Discord is notified. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Anthony, it's a spider birch. It is. It's a spider birch. All right, let's get this uh, save file backed up in case we crash. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's oh my gosh. All right, save file's backing up. Crossbow? Ooh, I do like that. I do like that. Crossbow might be the move. You guys might be onto something. Crossbow does sound like a fire choice. You say 270 all the time. True, Zacky, true. But hey, the last time I chose uh, what you wanted me to use, it was a 6.5. You should have said 270 back then, you know? Just saying. Combination, it's a fabled birch spider rack. We finally got a birch. After 11 moose, we finally got the fur type I wanted. I can't believe it took this many tries to get a birch. But holy. All right. Save files backed up. Discord is notified. Let's get the crossbow. Let's get the crossbow out. Let's go. Feed zone? No, I'm not going to take it to a feed zone. If it was a bear, I probably would, but moose drink in the daytime, so. What type of look do we want here? I do kind of like that. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. What other what other looks can we give it though? I do like that as well. Yeah, let's go for that. Holy crap. Um, Amanda, thank you so much for the super chat. Congrats, definitely go for the crossbow. I, I think the crossbow is the move. I've seen more people say um, crossbow than anything else. And Jonathan Cena, thank you for the five gifted, man. Congrats to Faded, Bambi, uh, Mr. Millen, Jack, and Coopler for getting those gifteds. Uh, what's the scope again? Where's the scope? Where's the scope? There it is, the Hawken. And then 600 grade brought a tracer arrow. No, we don't need those. We need the bolt. H the Builder, thank you for the one month. Congrats on the great one. Birch too. I know. I'm so happy it's a birch. I'm so happy it's a birch. What do we want to use here again? 600 grain broadhead tracer bolt. There we go. Okay. We're ready to go. We're good to go. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. Uh, we need to reset the time though because that wind is awful. The wind is in such a bad direction. Redux with the 34 months. Welcome back. Oh, ah, yes, it's, oh my gosh. There he is. Okay. I was going to say, I might be too close. He's not rendering in. 
Wind is blowing that way. We need to loop around this way. Holy crap. Nice, Daniel. Good luck, man. No, I'm not going to do a feed zone for this guy. I've already done one feed zone moose kill. And... I've done, like, a ton of feed zone hunting for bears. Like, the moose are in the daytime, so I'm not too worried about hunting a feed zone. Yes, I finally got the fur I wanted, Faded. Finally a birch. A birch spider rack. I would have... What? Wait, wh who's attacking me? Oh, you! No, 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 no. We're stalking. We're stalking, man. We're stalking up on this. You can't ruin this for me. <laughs> no, not you too. What is going on? Stop it. I do not like this. <laughs> Did he just put his tongue out at me? I think I briefly just saw him stick his tongue out at me. He, he just did. I saw it again. What are you doing? I am not a snack. Go away. <laughs> He did it again! <laughs> I've never noticed that about the attacking moose. Yeah, he <laughs> That's hilarious. I never noticed the attacking moose do that. <laughs> I never noticed that they do that. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is so funny. Holy crap. <laughs> That's great. He thinks you're a chip. Apparently. Apparently. A zesty moose. I know, right? What's he doing? What is he doing, man? <laughs> oh, that was... That might be one of the funniest moments I've had in this game in a while. <laughs> that was hilarious. That moose really thought that he uh, had something for us. Go away. <laughs> Go away, you little freak of a moose. He just wants a nibble, apparently. Oh, man. He's like, this is for all the times that you humans have shot us and ate us. I'm coming for you. Pause. All right, let's get this thing. Enough messing around. Let's stock up and take this beast down. I don't even know, Cayman. I don't even know, man. I love how light the fur is. Me too. This is my favorite fur type. I'm so happy I finally have one. Finally a fabled birch after 11 attempts. This is our 11th great one moose since they released them over a year ago. And this is the first fabled birch I've ever found. I've had two oaks, three ashen, a two-tone, and a speckled. And then... Like, what, three commons from before you were guaranteed to get a fur on them? Or a special fur type? This is the first birch. I was just unlucky. Uh, just unlucky on my end, Inert Monkey. There's no, like, difference, as far as I can tell, between, like, the different furs for spawn rates. I don't think any of them spawn more often than the others. I think I just got really unlucky. He's a troll. <laughs> Definitely a troll. <laughs> Yeah, Trickle, you did. You did. You need to play Blackjack? Yeah, with this luck, I might as well, right? Oh, it's so pretty. He is so beautiful. This is pretty much everything I could have ever wanted in a Great One Moose. I mean, obviously, I would have preferred the big rack or the typical rack, but... Like, this is still stunning. This is so stunning. What am I going to shoot him with? We're going to shoot him with the crossbow. Chat wanted me to do a crossbow, so we're going to do it. Just got on how many kills? This was 181 kills. The moose luck continues. No, I don't have to worry about the dog, Coopler. I don't have to worry about the dog because they don't spook stuff the size of moose. 
They only spook like birds and other class one animals. So it will not spook like a deer or a moose, you know. What's up, Johnny? Max, I still don't have a great one. Whitetail on my PC. Hey, knowing you, you'll get it eventually. Knowing you, you'll get it eventually. With how crazy you went with like the red deer on console. I have no doubt you'll get it, Johnny. Look at this beast, though. We finally got the birch. Yeah, we have had so many short grinds. I feel like it's just making up for the 4,500 kill grind we had between Medved and Rev. My luckiest grinds have definitely been Fallow and Moose. My most unlucky have been Red Deer and Bear. I don't know why, but like for Red Deer, anything under 3,000 is a short grind for me because most of my grinds have been above 3,000. And then with the Bears, I had that 8,300 kill grind followed by almost 4,000. Moose have been quite nice to me along with Fallow. Look at that beaut. Holy crap. I love the birch so much. Such a good fur type. Two short grinds in the row. I have a bad feeling about your next one. Me too. I know this luck is going to end eventually. It ended with Fallow after a while. Like we had, I think, seven or eight grinds in a row for Fallow that were under 600 kills. And then I immediately had like a 2,200 kill grind, then a 1,700 kill grind, then a 1,400 kill grind. Like, I am just dreading the day when we get like another 3,000 kill moose grind because moose take a long time to kill as is. And so like 100 kills feels like 200 of another species, you know? So I'm dreading the day that we get a, another like 3,000 kill grind for the moose. How to move without them hearing you? Uh, it's about like watching your visibility, making sure you have all the skills that can uh, dampen noise. Like soft feet is pretty huge. Um, only happy when it rains helps in like bad weather. Uh, improvised blind is huge because you can use like the trees and stuff to fully hide your character. Like uh, right here, I'm fully hidden. I'm completely hidden right here. And so they could walk clear up to like seven meters in front of me. And they wouldn't see me because I'm fully hidden. Biggest thing is just don't sprint. Just don't sprint around when you're trying to stock up on something. And don't walk. Stay crouched until about, I think it's like 80, 90 meters. And then go prone. And just crawl the rest of the way. And it also helps if the animal is facing away from you. Because they actually do have... Uh, Different senses if they're facing away from you. Like if an animal's looking away from you, they're not going to see you as quickly as if it was looking directly at you. This one's looking directly at us. So we got to make sure that we break its like visibility right by sticking behind cover. That's what I'm saying, L. Like we've got the, we got the moose luck. We got the moose luck for sure. Why do great ones score below diamond? Uh, because of the way moose are scored and the way these racks look. Like this one right here doesn't have any palmation at all. And the palmation is one of the biggest factors to the score of a moose. So because it doesn't have like actual palms, it's just got these like spindly little twig branch looking antlers. It scores super low. Oh yeah, the moose grind, I feel like it's in a, the perfect state right now, L. Like... Holy crap. <laughs> oh my oh my gosh. Uh, I, I keep, every time I look at him, it just I just am shocked by how stunning this fur type is. Like it's always been my favorite, but obviously I had never got to see it in game until now. So he can't see us right here because there's trees and rocks in the way, so we should be good to stock up, but I'm a little worried that these others are too close and they'll notice us. They're facing away though, so we should be okay. We should be okay. Yeah, Chaz, we got a great one, Moose. Another one. Another one. Come on, hide me. No, 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 no. Am I not? <gasps> okay, right there. Okay, we're hidden. We're hidden. You see nothing. 
And this is why improvised blind perk is so good. We're fully hidden in this little bush. We can take our time and take a look at him. I'm going to move a little bit and hope it doesn't take me out of cover. Okay, I'm still cover. Oh, that's out of cover. That's back in cover. Okay, we found the edge. So this great one moose decided to go camping. He really wanted to go for a camping trip. That's so pretty. It's so beautiful. Wow. Wow, man. Fallow deer, deer is still your other farm. If by farm you mean like the one where I've got it locked in and I'm getting them super quick, yeah. Fallow deer and moose are usually... Actually, no. Like fallow deer, I'm not even having good luck with fallow deer. Like my last three fallow grinds have been between 1,400 and 2,200 kills. So I am on a bad streak with a fallow deer on the main account. Take a frontal shot? I don't know if I want to. Okay, I am going to turn off the HUD though, because I want to see. I want to get some footage for the intro of this video that this guy is going to go in. You want to sub 100 for me so we can go back to Banting? Mm. Oh man, we'll see. We'll see. I know some of you have wanted the Banting grind to come back. There's a possibility it will. No, I'm not going to turn on the uh, the Great One music. Like, we've already heard it a million times. Okay, this is really risky. But I want a better angle to get pictures. And also, I need to turn the HUD back on. So we can actually see what our visibility is looking like. You see nothing. You see nothing. Okay, we're fully hidden through these little bushes. Now we're out in the open. But luckily the line of sight is good for us. No, this is not the great one before level 60 account. This is just uh, my normal account. Risk it for the biscuit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, dude. Brain shot? No! No! This is the first fabled birch I've ever found. Why would I brain shot it? You'd have to be out of your mind to think I'm gonna brain shot this. Okay, we're hidden here. Oh, he's so pretty. You guys think I can make it over here? I mean, they've been cooperating pretty well. They're not really spooking off. I think I can make it over here. Get in the leg, please. <laughs> I mean, the heart's behind the shoulder, and the shoulder's a part of the leg, kind of, so... I mean, technically, I guess I shoot it in the leg when I go for a shoulder shot. Okay, this is the spot. <laughs> okay, let's turn off the tracks. Wow. Just wow, man. Just wow. Let's turn the HUD off again. He's so pretty. He's so pretty. Oh, gotcha, Johnny. Are they trying to make a comeback? Heart only? That's going to be tough. That would be very tough. This is such a pretty great one. What's up, Caitlin? It is stunning. It is just such a beautiful, great one. This is like a top five combo I could have possibly got. There's 24 different combinations you can get. This is top five for me because Fable Birch is my favorite fur. And uh, I don't mind the spider rack. The spider rack's pretty cool. However, I think I have had like three of my last four moose being a spider rack. We've been getting so many spider racks. I wonder why. I've got the spider rack luck, man. 
They didn't count the touchdown. Oh, they didn't, Johnny? I wonder why. If you guys haven't already, hit the like on the stream if you're enjoying the content. Helps me out a ton and it only takes two seconds. 360 brain shot. Okay. And now we're just being silly. How many kills do you have this fur type? Uh, 181 kills and I do not have this fur yet. This is my first fabled birch. The only one we need now is the fabled spruce. Wow, look at the sun coming out from behind the clouds and shining on this dude. That's so cool. This is like picture perfect. Oh my gosh, that photo. Wow. Wow, that photo is it going to be insane. So is that. Oh my gosh. What's up, Fishman? The HUD is on? No, the HUD is uh, turned off. I'll show you. Boom. Now it's on. All right. Um, time to take him down. What's the distance? 29 meters. Ooh, I don't like being at a weird range like that. I want to get to 20, but it's, it's risky. I'm going to do it. When I stand up to take the shot, he's going to see me. I just got to be fast enough to where... To where he doesn't bolt off or move before I take the shot. And maybe we can even take it while we're prone, if we're lucky. Yeah, let's turn the clues back on. Oh, this is actually going to be in our favor. We're in a dip right now, so he can't see us. Come on, don't go alert. 22, I can deal with that. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey now, buddy. Hey now, buddy. You can have one too. Take that. You can have one too, buddy. Oh my gosh. The day has finally come where we get to put a fabled birch in the lodge. Wow. Wow, it's just wow. Oh, it's so stunning. I just realized the fabled birch has white feet. You know what that means, right? I feel like the fabled birch is based off of like an albino. If it's got the like pink feet, did I say white feet? I meant pink feet. It's got pink feet. I bet the birch is based off of like an albino that isn't like fully albino, you know? Like it has like, what's it called? Like there's different levels of albinism, right? Some of them have it more than others. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. This might be my favorite great one moose I've ever killed. The only one that might top it is the two-tone big rack. Just because it's got the big rack and the two-tones, my second favorite fur. But this is just crazy looking. What a beautiful spider rack. What? Is this a good or is this like a low or high score for spider rack? Or is this average? I don't know what my other spider racks are scored at. Wow. Wow. And here's the true score. This is why it doesn't score much for those curious. Width of palm. Like on a normal diamond, the palm width is massive, right? Because they have huge palms. This guy's got like no palms at all. He just has tines going off the sides of like normal looking beams, right? And so it doesn't score super high. Wow. Don't put it in a headstand. Oh, I'm not. I'm going to put this guy on a full body mount. 100%. 100% he's going on a full body mount. That's just so crazy. That's just so crazy. Nice, Ostetler. Appreciate it, man. 
Moose huddle, oh wait. I wish there was a moose huddle. I wish there was. I'd be so good if there was a moose huddle. Let's go to the lodge. That is just crazy. Put him with an albino bobwhite quail, please. I don't have an albino quail. If I did, I'd put it with him, though. All right, let's see. What are we going to do here? Where are we going to put this guy? I might have to take down one of our mounts in the back of Whitetail and just put them on the wall. Because I'm not taking this mount down. This is my favorite Great One Moose I've ever killed right here. Here's the speckled. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't even know. Appreciate it, Scotty. Do I have any full body mounts left? I might back here. I think in here is fallow. Yeah, it's all fallow. Fallow, fallow. What do I do, man? All the full body platforms are taken up. I think I'm gonna have to take down one of the white tail mounts and then put them on the wall. Or I could do it with these guys right here because they're all spoon rack. No, never mind. That's not going to even work because I can't put moose here. I could move the whitetail over though. Yeah, I can move the whitetail over. We'll put our moose right here. Holy crap. Holy crap, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Appreciate it, Chance. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to raise the Great One counter. Uh, we need to raise it by two. And uh, stay tuned for the next video to find out why I raised it by two instead of one. Thank you guys for watching the stream. I hope you enjoyed. We got our Fabled Birch finally. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. What is it? Today's Sunday. So we'll be back tomorrow with another stream. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!